Hi guys, welcome back to episode number 7 of Crash Landing. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I automated all of our smeltery stuff here. Um, we're just working through the last little bits of um, the stuff I have. I don't have any more dust to sift, so uh, for the time being what we have is what we have. Um, I kind of figured out why these pipes are so awesome. And the reason is, uh, where's the one that's going here? Molten tin. Um, if you look at the, oh, this one's not on. Oh, that's platinum. That's safe for platinum. That's right. Um, if you look at this pipe, you can see this fluid duct is empty. This uh, this fluid duct has molten tin in it. Um, so now, actually, if we see, come back here. This molten tin's on the bottom. That's what's running through. If we switch over to aluminum, you can see that it actually runs through. And so these um, these fluid ducts are actually acting as a bit of a buffer, um, so they can hold a couple of ingots in them, and that um, that really helps speed up the the process. Because uh, um, when you're running through and smelting this dust, it uh, it really doesn't take very. Uh, each of these give you a half an ingot, I think. So you can each of the pipes can hold you know maybe six or seven of these dust. So in the the time of sifting, it actually takes a lot of outlaw log to uh, to actually get any fluid in here so um, that's the real the real benefit of using these fluid ducts is they act as a little bit of a buffer past the smeltery so um, yeah we're all done we're uh, we're just waiting on two more um, fluids which we get from sifting gravel instead of dust uh, right click there we go we're looking for nickel and platinum, and uh, the other benefit is we get diamonds and emeralds and lapis, which we need as well. So, um, what we need to do to start doing that efficiently is uh, start converting our cobble into gravel, like we do here, with uh, the hammers or anything like that. Um, we could start doing just a little bit to start getting it, but um, we're gonna start working into machines. Pull. Verizer. Um, you know, these thermal expansion machines, we're going to need a bunch of them, but they, um, the thermal expansion machine converts the same thing as a hammer where you break uh, break cobble into gravel. That's what it does for you. Um, so we can set this thing up automatically to uh, to do that. Then we're going to run our gravel into the sifter, and then, we, uh, then we're going to have a constant supply of everything. Um, change this over here just a tiny bit. Um, you can see I have two two inputs on this side into this chest, this hopper just runs into the chest. Um, the reason for that is that you have these pulverized ones here, these pulverized ones here, um, but once we start working with gravel, it's not going to know where to put the stuff because it uh, uses a different one here. You can see these are broken instead of um, dust. So. Um, all we're gonna do is once we get some of them, we're just gonna add a second row here with the, the broken materials. Wow, that is that is really loud. I'm sorry, guys. At least in my my ears. Um, okay, so that's the smelter stuff. So that's all running in good shape. We have um, we have a ton of metals that will uh, that will last us for the time being. We have enough redstone to to get started. And, um, at some point, we'll need to go collect a bunch more dust and start sifting it again. Uh, so the other thing I did is I made some changes here. I just added some chests. Um, so the the thing that I was talking to you about, where you know, looking into a chest and seeing what we have, um, it kind of rang true to me. And so I just added a couple more chests. A chest up here for water, and a chest up here for our raw ingredients. And um, then I added in caps on everything. Um, so you can see if we uh, be a good one. If we take our water out, you can see it converts those two bottles into water. Um, if we take our sugar out, it converts those sugar in. And that way we can just look into our chest and say, oh, need some more water. Oh, need some more sugar. Um, it's as simple as that. So that's uh, that's all I did there. Um, and I think that'll work just a little bit better. And then this this uh, copper chest here is just kind of acts as the intermediate. It's a place to put the saucepan back into and keep the dough and all the all the kind of intermediate steps for making our sandwiches. So uh, that's the only change there. Um, so what I want to do today is start working through some quest lines. Um, we have 
this because we smelted up our silver. Um, ME chest, we're gonna have to make one of those anyways. Hardened energy cell, I have um, I have a couple redstone energy cells upstairs anyways, so I don't think that's best. The leadstone thrusters are pretty good for us. And then uh, we just get those, so. Um, now the other one is this. This is new to uh, 113, called a grindstone and wooden crank. Uh, if we come over here, I have, um, and it is meant to um, supplement the smeltery stuff, but we're already well set up with smeltery. Um, so we need a grindstone and a crank, which is just like this. And we can claim this reward. Oh, there's more, mixing things up. Oh, okay. Um, so we have to make Invar, Electrum, and Tinkers, uh, which we need Nickel for. So that's going to have to wait. That stinks. Okay. Um, so the, the next thing we need to do is a different quest line called Under Pressure. We're going to start working into... Um, uh, I can't think of the name right now. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> Pneumatic craft, there we go. Um, so pneumatic craft is the, the basis of all your machines. And when we're looking at the pulverizer there, um, they change the recipes a bit around. So these uh, machine frames take these uh, logic cards, which take printed circuit boards, and all this stuff is made in pneumatic craft machines. Um, so we have to set up a really awesome automatic system for that. Uh, and then this salvage operation, what's this? Uh, well, that just gets into, okay. Um, I might just do this off camera because this will be, well, we need an bar for that anyway, so we can't do much there. Okay, so let's start working into pneumatic craft. So I think we need to make TNT because we have iron. You need to make TNT and we get compressed iron, which we have a lot of anyways. Um, one of the, Real noticeable changes about 113 is that the mobs um, aren't tracking from as far anymore. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but um, we sure aren't getting the mob drops that we were before, so I'm really glad that we kind of got that done well ahead of schedule. So, Because um, we now have, have lots saved up. Uh, that's the other way around. I make so little TNT that... Okay, so TNT, we need a lever to set it off. We can use a button. Uh, how's my water's out? Whoops. Um, so. We have um, we have so much compressed iron downstairs, anyways. I don't really, yeah, I don't really see a need to uh, to do that. So pressure tube. Um, we got a ton of compressed iron from raiding the city, so uh, let me kind of grab all of our stuff. And this connect, well, we can't. Help. This connect compressor is is uh, really really wicked, but it takes a good power source, so we can't really use that yet. Um, so you can see we have some some transistors, some PCBs. There's my redstone energy cells. Um, we have some of the pneumatic craft machines as well, and a and a wrench. So like we we have a ton of stuff to start with pneumatic craft, um, just from raiding the raiding the city. So pressure tube, two and a piece of glass. Uh, One of the uh, one of the really nice things about TNT is that it blows up um, pretty wide out in the desert, getting lots of dust for it. Okay, so a piece of glass in between. Two of those gives us pressure tubes. 
and an air compressor, which I forget how to make. Um, cinematic craft works fairly similar. So we need a furnace, pressure tube, and that. Never had a furnace anywhere. But, oh well. Um, works really similar to, to the actual um, like air compressors and stuff like that. So the the very first one, you just make an air compressor which runs on coal or anything that can burn wood and stuff like that. Um, generates you air. Roar big. Pressure gauge or lightning. Pressure gauges are super easy to make. Lightning, I don't know if have that. Creeper squid, polishing, polish. Yeah, we have that already, so reward bag. Um, that was Certus Quartz Ore and that. Um, that quartz will be really, really handy. So we need quartz in the future. Get rid of some junk. Okay, so next on the task, measuring pressure, pressure gauge tube. Um, Okay, pressure gauge is compressed iron and four golds. I'm gonna make a bunch because we we're gonna use them for safety tubes and stuff like that. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so pressure gauge tube is two redstone pressure and some redstone. I guess I should move my crafting table over there. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Okay, that's done. Pressure chamber wall, pressure chamber window, pressure chamber valve. Okay. We have lots of the walls just from the city, but uh, it's one of those things you have to craft. Um, The last one the window, I think, is around a piece of glass. Oh, that was silly. Uh, yeah, I just cook all that. <coughs> okay, and after that, uh, that's a light box, that's a controller. Okay. We actually have, um, well, not enough to, oh, that's not right. Okay. Um, okay, so the need to turn it on here um, make some plastic the thing that we're not being asked to make yet is these uh, interfaces um, they're a little bit well they need some plastic and that's so we need to, to do that first those are rain plant seeds I need a bunch of those eh um, this is what we're being asked or this uh, this allows you to um, input in, in uh, Sorry, I can't speak right now. Uh, bring in and um, insert and extract items from your pressure chamber. Right now, we just have to um, turn it on to the point of where it works, and then we can uh, break it once it's done, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, you know what? This isn't actually where I want to build this. I want to build it away from the wall. And it takes so long to break. <laughs> um, so yeah, the 
once you get further along into pneumatic craft, it uh, it really reaps rewards and it becomes super easy. But the first uh, the first kind of stages here are kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, I can leave those for now. I'll clean them up later. Uh, want the valve here. Good. Okay, well, it's actually these six I need. <laughs> I didn't realize it uh, took so many. Kind of thought I was in really good shape, but. So you can kind of see where we're going with this too. Um, we're making uh, making a con like a multi-block containment structure there, and you can see the valve on the outside here allows us access to the pressure chamber. There's a one by one center in there. Oops. Um, okay. And then if we just take some of our tubes, we can hook it up to the air compressor. And uh, if we start breading this, we'll start gaining pressure, but we need to put something in there first to, uh, to change. So the first thing we need is green plastic, right? Okay. Um, I assume that'd be creeper. Yeah, creeper plant seeds. <laughs> My ton of this activator just punched me. Um, may as well do a bunch of them because we don't need them. And it's kind of easiest to go. Well. The thing about this is you have to really watch that uh, they don't despawn on you. Now if we put stuff in there to burn, we start gaining pressure. That's not going to last very long. Actually I have no idea if I have coal even. One piece. Um, that'd be slabs. A piece of coal. Hmm, it's working slowly. I think we only need to get up to about uh, one bar or so just to get the plastic. Half a bar to make plastic, so that's uh, that's not bad at all. Um, should be here in any second. And it's kind of cool to watch because they'll uh, they'll just start automatically turning as uh, as the pressure comes up. Just like that. Once we, once they're done there, this is going to be kind of loud to break. It's going to start hissing, so just don't mind that. Okay, so we have that. Four pneumatic servos, plastic, squid plant we already have, machine upgrades for sure. And I have a full, full inventory. Okay. okay. So let's claim this reward. Um, yeah, 
that's just info blueprints exposure there's our input so yeah these uh, these we need basically right away um, but they're gonna interface I wonder if it's just the blue plastic we need and just work cannon barrel we can do that so yeah it's just blue plastic so we need rain plant seeds which I might have upstairs More creeper squid creeper propulsion propulsion chopper lightning ender there's uh, there's so many different types and they all kind of well, they make different color plastics for you which do different things I don't quite think we have rain plants yet okay so what does it take to make a green plant piece of lapis okay I was thinking we need lapis here right away. Um, so when I set this up, I set this up to uh, to accept gravel as well. Um, so we're gonna start getting um, all the stuff out of gravel, and it's all just gonna come down to this chest right now because it has nowhere else to go. So, um, so we need a piece of lapis. We're gonna mix that with. Um, just a grass seed, which we have a couple of that makes us rain plant seeds. And then, uh, so let me get that. Um, then I'll show you how to plant them. And I might do uh, I might do some of the other easy stuff, and then we'll we'll run it through here to to get our inputs. So, um, yeah, let me take a break here, guys. I'll uh, I'll be right back with you. Hi right, guys, welcome back. Um, so I made a bunch of rain plant seeds. That's uh, just a lapis and a grass seed. Um, I've just been bone milling them in the corner. All you do is just throw one down on the ground. It'll plant itself. You bowl meal twice and you hit it. You just do that a bunch of times. And we're just aiming for a stack right now, so that should be enough. Yep. Um, okay, so I want a stack of this because this makes us the blue blue plastic and that gets us the interface so you go there you go there okay I put our speed upgrades in here so hopefully it should uh, should go a little bit faster it's gonna burn through a lot more coal though just fine um, I added our uh, some of our ores here I haven't put platinum in because we don't have the output for it yet I'll do that uh, do that later, but um, that way if we start sifting any gravel, it'll come come here automatically. And then to this side, um, I don't know what happened because my filter lost, or maybe I never did it. I don't know. Um, it lost our our dust ones, um, so I put the gravels up here, the broken ones, and I put nickel here. We have a little bit down on the bottom to make. Um... Whoa! I don't need that much. Start making invar. Be ten, I think. I think that's right. Anyways, worst worst case, it's not gonna not gonna go to waste. Um, so let's let that run. You are running like a champ, actually. You're all done. So this is gonna hiss again here, guys. Hopefully, it's the last time we have to listen to it. There's no more coal in there. No. Okay, so interface requires these, which take safety valves. So I think I, so I need two of those. So I need two safety valves. Two of those. Okay, so two safety valves, four levers. Uh, 
da, 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 um. I kind of want to move you over. No sense running back and forth anymore. Okay. So I need safety valve tubes, which is lever, pressure tube, and a pressure gauge. It's funny, I thought that would have given me that. So I have the pressure gauge, I need four levers. Top and you go there. So two safety valves. Okay, those with compressed iron will make us a cannon barrel. Okay, we need two of those. Okay, and then a hopper. Well, sorry. That's our blue plastic with compressed iron and the cannon barrels makes us those things. Got you somewhere. Yep. Okay, so two of you. Okay, then I need hopper and compressed iron. Okay. Five. Hopper, and I should have enough compressed iron on me. There we go. Okay, so these go on this side. Um, and what this does is it acts as an interface. So it's a blue and an orange wall. Um, when the thing is running, the blue door is going to open up, allows you to put an item in. When it has the item in there, it's going to insert it into the chamber. The chamber will do what it wants with it. There we go, now that it turns on. So you can see the blue door opens. Um, we can't actually like put items in there ourselves. They have to be, be plumbed in either with a hopper or item ducts, stuff like that. Um, and then there's a filter here, which change that name. So um, the in one doesn't really matter. The out one, what we're going to do is uh, set the out filter to what we want. So in the case of plastic, I'm going to set it to only filter with plastic so that it um, oh, I wonder if that's going to work. Go down. So in the case where we want to take plastic out, it's only going to take plastic out. Um, you're going to let me out. The, uh, the other thing is you have to pay attention to which way your doors are facing because it's always, you can see the arrows, it always goes from blue to orange. So on this side, um, contains, begins with, I don't know what we're going to make next actually, so that should have given us this. Okay, so item ducts. Um, what we're going to do is just use two item ducts and a couple of chests. Uh, then we need a couple more levers. And actually, I want to install a servo on that one. Okay. Um, the reason I did this isn't to filter anything here, so we're just going to leave the blacklist empty so it takes everything, but I want to limit the amount of items that are flowing for the time being down to eight. Um, anything less than nine usually works a little better. Eight just works because that's a nice uh, multiple of 64. Um, so that's what I use. And actually, we can turn you back on. Um, when you put a full stack in there, it just it takes a long time to process because it has to, you know, use a bunch of air to get through the door. So eight eight just works a little better. And then on this side, we have the filter set. So we need another lever. 
and you need to be turned like that. Okay, what's next? Um, so next we are going to start getting into PCBs. Um, so remember, the two machines we're aiming for first is a pulverizer, uh, the other one's a reactant dynamo, it's a power source. Um, all your machines take these machine frames, well, almost universally take these machine frames, which take these uh, logic cards, which take your printed circuit boards and plastic. Printed circuit boards are these unassembled PCBs. There's one one way to make them like that, and then there's another another slower way to make them. So you recognize these machines. We have a couple of them upstairs we stole from the city. Um, so we need an empty PCB first, which I think should just be um, compressed iron and plastic. So if we filter here, empty PCB, let's, uh, let's just put eight for now. Um, you can see we're starting to get a decent amount of pressure in our thing here. We can see as the door opens and closes, we're starting to lose. Don't want to completely out of that. Um, As the door opens and closes there, we start to lose uh, lose pressure. So inside our pressure chamber, we have um, the plastic and the compressed iron there. We need one and a half bars to, to change the recipe. And then our filter here is stalling until it sees the empty PCB. So as soon as our air compressor starts getting there, where are these empty maps? Florb. Cool. Okay, so you can see the PCB is starting to change over there. Uh, the filter grabbed the, the first one that was in there. Oh, do that. <laughs> um, and now it'll grab the rest of them. And maybe take half of that over the time being. If you get too much pressure, you'll start to blow, blow stuff up. Um, there's ways to We'll automate that and we'll do that here in a minute, but um, okay, so I now can grab an empty PCB. Empty PCB in a UV light box. Okay, this one I think I need to do the other step first. Okay, um, I think I'm going to call it here for an episode, guys. We uh, we made a lot of progress um, down this path. Um, next up, we're going to start doing this PCB stuff the the hard way, um, you know, with etching acid and light boxes and all that stuff. Um, so um, that's something to look forward to. I think we're in uh, we're in really really good shape. Um, this pneumatic craft stuff is. Uh, is really kind of the start of the, the fun stuff that we uh, we get to do. So, um, yeah, I hope, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you again here soon.